Hello, so um, we're going to be drawing a basic third angle orthogonal drawing. So this one is not intended for um, for year 12 or year 11. Um, this one's more for um, year 10 and below. Um, here we have our pencil that we need. We have a ruler and we have a square as well. Um, I'm also using graph paper for this too. Now if you are in senior, for example, um, there is a separate video for that. Okay, so we start off here with using our ruler. I'm going to draw, um, now orthogonal drawing here is, uh, you have a top view, so it's the top view of an object, then the front view, and then the side view of the, pro of the um, product as well, okay? So I'm just going to draw a basic um, sort of stepped type product here, for example, and I start off by drawing my object that is about 60 millimeters long, by, I'm just making this up, by the way, <laughs> and then I'm also going to have it so that it is um, probably about 40 millimeters high. Sorry, deep actually, because we're looking at the top of it. Why did I say height for? Okay, I'm also going to have um, some type of um, sloped part to this object as well. So I'm just going to put in here a nice line across here. Okay, and that line is meant to be slightly lighter than a final dark line, by the way. Now, so that is the top view. Now we need to put in the front view. And we're going to measure now. So... Um, now we need to have space for our a space between the title, the title itself, and then the distance from the title down to the next view. So minimum, I like to have at least um, 30 millimeters distance. So we have that much distance there. So now that's the top view. We're going to do the front view now. So I'm going to draw a line across, remembering that I'm looking at this line here going down. And I'm drawing a line across here. This is my front view. Okay, so this here is the length. Okay, now I'm going to look at the height of it, okay? So the height of mine is going to be, I'd say we have ours as being as, uh, let's make it easy for ourselves. We make it at 32 mil. So we get down to one of these darker lines. So remember, this page itself is available on um, our resources folder. All right. Now, one thing we need to do too is have um, the point of um, this slopes down. At the moment, this whole thing starts to slope down right from the top going down. This here is a ledge. So this is um, accurate, however, we need to figure out where that slope finishes on the on the vertical. So I'm going to put in a line about here somewhere. And you'll see this taking shape once we do the right side view. Okay, so imagine this, right? We could always draw the right side view by measuring it and things like that, okay? Um, what we could do though, to make it easier for ourselves, is if we use a right angle triangle, and we look at this point right here, and that is the um, top right-hand corner of what we call the bounding box. So this is what we base our 45 degree measurement from. So check this out. So I'm just putting the um, square up against one of the lines on the grid. I'm drawing a faint line. Make sure it's nice and faint so you can just barely see it. A nice faint line going up. And... After that, what we do here is we have 30 millimeters distance. We're also going to have 30, 30 millimeters distance from that other side there. Okay, so I've just got a little dot right there. And I'm going to draw a, a horizontal, horizontal line, extend that line from the base, well, in fact, from that front edge of this product, right across to this where it intersects. So nice faint line, guideline only. And we draw another guideline as well. We draw a guideline across. 
Okay, so we have these lines through here. What we can do now is we can go to a right angle triangle. Now, if you are using a normal ruler, obviously put the ruler up against those lines on the graph paper. And I'm going to draw vertical lines going down now. So where it intersects, draw a vertical line down. Well, my ruler's got a bit of a pockmark taken out of it, so that wasn't good. I think one of you have um, been using this as a as a drum set. Okay, there we go. Move it across a little bit. And where it goes down, put a nice faint, faint line going down. And where it intersects there, that's the intersection point, we draw another line going down. Okay, so it's a nice faint line going down there. You can just make that out on the, on the page. And now we're going to draw a line across horizontally. Might do that a little bit darker so you can see it. And a line across here. So these here are guidelines showing us where things are going to match up with our drawing. Okay, so this is the basic parts of our right hand of view, right side view, okay? So first of all, we know that this side here is a solid um, vertical line, line, not line. Okay. Then we draw a line across the base. Okay, so this is where it sort of starts to get tricky. We know that the top of our product has um, what I call a platform, so we draw that platform in. So here we trace a line back where it intersects going down, and we draw our line going across there like that. Okay, and we know that there's another line that comes up as the step right there. So you see that matches up there, and now we draw a line going across. Now this is not 45 degrees, this is an arbitrary angle. I know that because these dimensions are different. Okay, so that there is the top view, front view, right side view. All right, so some things we need to do now is that we need to put in the, um, the titles. So what we need to do is we need to measure down from the, um, this edge here, go down 10 mil, put a dot, okay. So that there is that point there. So by the way, this graph paper is three millimeter increments. Yeah, so one millimeter small increments and three millimeter main increments. Okay, so we measure down 10 mil and then we have five mil. Okay. And right here at the 15 mil mark. So now we write in, right across here, it pays to draw a faint line across so you can use that faint line going across there's a bit of a guide of where you draw, put the type in, okay? And we put in our type as being condensed. So just like this, nice, con nice and condensed. So you notice that a lot of architects, a lot of product designers use, um, use that very condensed typeface just there like that. And we put in the other, other ones now too. So 10 mil down and then five mil. So 10 mil down and then five mil again. I'm gonna put lines across. Nice faint line, just so you can just make it out for yourself to see. And this one here is going to be front view or front. And this one is going to be right side. You've got to forgive me for being a bit shaky at the moment because I'm sort of, um, 
I'm bobbing down just in front of the window at home because we're doing online learning at the moment, so just bear with me. All right, so that there is the titles, and now we need to put dimensions in, okay? So, um, in fact, we can put some of these, this line here, a little bit darker, because it's a little bit too light there. Okay, so now, so now, when you put measurements in, so measurements go on to the left-hand side there normally, and across the top, okay, and across there, they can always be there and around there too, on that side there too. So the way we measure this is that we get our ruler, and we do a standoff of one millimetre. So in fact, I'll put it just here. So stand off of one millimetre, put a dot just there, okay? And then we draw up to where it is zero, okay? So it's one millimetre and zero, so it's nine millimetre line and a one millimetre standoff. We do the same on this side here. And we've also got a line here we need to um, place in as well. So we'll do that line too. All right, so now we measure down from here two millimeters. And that is at that point there. So I know where that line is. So I'm going one in from that darker line. I'm putting, gonna put in a vertical line going down. All right, so just like that. So now we need to put in our arrowheads. So our arrowhead is three millimeters long by one millimeter wide. So three millimeters long by one millimeter wide, just like that. See if you can do it, takes a bit of practice. Okay, so now we put measurements in. So that one is um, 25 mil, okay. So I like to go um, three millimeters in terms of um, the height of that type. Um, I'll put into the description below um, the exact measurements according to VCAR, so that there, that there is 25. 25 there. And this one here is 15. Okay, cool. So you put the measurements in all the way around for this one, and that'll be it for this stage in time. Um, let me know if you need any assistance. Obviously, you're putting dimensions for um, for here, distance from here to here, for example, here to here to here, right? Just so someone can actually make it for you. Okay, I can do the rest, um, but I believe this will go too long. Okay, thank you. Bye.